Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about JavaScript frameworks. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do you think working with JavaScript frameworks can hinder developers from having a deeper understanding of DOM manipulation? And the core browser APIs. Consider React. We are discouraged from interacting with the interacting with the DOM. Instead, we are encouraged to work with the virtual DOM only. Do you feel that juniors who jump into such frameworks are missing out on important concepts that would be learned through framework-free DOM manipulation? Yes, yes, you are. You are going to miss out on uh, quite a lot of. Uh, well, what I like to call vanilla JavaScript uh, tips and tricks and things like that. These are the sorts of things that, well, I was actually very fortunate to get into web development before React and Angular. Okay, they were kind of just getting into the market when I started learning about this stuff. So I actually did go through learning the old browser API, browser APIs and jQuery and all that good stuff that we had before that. Uh, and that has, of course, helped me to a certain point to have a more in-depth knowledge of the DOM and like how to do things and so forth. And sure, it does factor in every once in a while because there are still, if let's say, if you do front-end development as an example, there are still many situations where you actually want to interact directly with the DOM. An example would be event listening. So for a fair amount of experiences that you would want to cons uh, want to develop you actually do need to use the native dom apis to do to create event listeners uh, it's a very common thing to do and as the subscriber is mentioning that's not really something that necessarily let's say take react for example that they encourage i mean if you do something in say angular it's a little bit more accessible but uh, this is true. You're not really focusing so much on that, but I don't think that that is a bad thing necessarily, because that I think that it, this has more to do with what I like to say the 80-20 rule. Well, it's not my term. 80-20. Uh, when you start working in web, when you start working with JavaScript or anything like that, well, the first thing, at least what I argue, is for you to focus on getting relevant, and productive as quickly as possible. Now, if you think about it, learning the core JavaScript APIs and like the browser APIs, these are good things for sure. But if you're starting from scratch, why would you be focused more on learning the in-depth nitty gritty details of the browser APIs as opposed to learning the thing that you're most likely going to work with? I'm not saying that you should not you shouldn't learn vanilla JavaScript. I'm saying that you should, I'm just saying that let things take their time and take things as like in terms of priority because you can't do everything, you have to start somewhere. And the first most relevant skill set that is requested on the job postings is going to be to learn the frameworks. And this, since if you don't know these things, then start there because it's the thing that is going to give you 80% of the value immediately. Now. Once you've learned that, once you have an understanding of it, and I can promise you this, even if, let's say for the sake of argument that you get your first job working in, say, React, and you get there without learning all that much about vanilla JavaScript, then it's, I promise you, it's just a matter of time before you're going to find yourself looking up how to do certain things with the native APIs and the DOM and so forth. It's really just a matter of time because you can't... Uh, it, it's extraordinarily rare, I find at the very least, that you can just... Uh, let me put it like this. React is not so perfectly designed that you're going to be able to just stay in React forever for every single thing. There are, cert there are certain situations where you simply can't do what you want to do in an effective way just through the, the things that React are offering. By, there might be libraries and so forth, but I hope what you I hope that my point is coming across. You don't have to concern yourself, because this is the thing that I usually hear, because I've had similar sorts of questions like this before, where people are concerned that, well, uh, 
Frederick, sure, uh, if I just learn React, I'm not going to be very good at JavaScript, will I? I won't be able to know the native uh, native APIs. And I go, just relax, guys. You have time to learn all of it. Because that's usually what I find at the very least. The reason why people are concerned is because you're afraid that you're going to be left behind. You're afraid that you're going to miss out on something that's going to make you a better developer. And sure, if you're going to bend my arm, I will tell you that learn like learning the core APIs and learning how the browser works and all this stuff, th these are good things. They are very good things. I'm not telling you not to learn them. I'm saying try to uh, try to focus on the things that are going to give you the most value until you don't get as much of a return on investment on that thing. And then if you have time, I mean, if you have endless amounts of time and just then just go for it. But if you have to prioritize things, then prioritize that which is most important until you know that thing kind of by heart and then move on into the stuff that is maybe less directly relevant, but will certainly make you a better developer. I, I think I just wrote back to the subscriber and I tried to explain it like imagine learning a JS framework as it's like learning how to drive an, uh, an automatic, like just to, how to drive a car. Now, most of the modern cars that you will find are automatics, and learning how to write vanilla JavaScript code is like being able to um, to drive stick. Well, it might not be the most important thing in the world to learn how to drive stick if, as if you're just going to get a license and just like be able to get, go somewhere. But if you want to be a true master of driving an automobile, that's probably a very relevant thing for you to learn, at least for now, until there's no such thing anymore. Uh, so start by learning to drive an automatic and then learn how to drive this and drive the stick. That's basically what I'm telling you. Uh, another way of looking at it is uh, learning React JS or Angular or something or Vue or so forth is like learning how to write a, a program. It's like to it's like to um, to program in a high level language and learning vanilla JavaScript is like writing assembly. There, like at, uh, in the beginning you don't need to learn how to write assembly but once you have a good grasp of how to write in a higher level language then learning assembly is a very good thing. It's going to deepen your knowledge. I hope that's that makes sense to you. So what I want you to take away from this is that I do believe that by just staying in uh, React land or Angular or so forth and so forth, uh, you're going to limit your understanding of JavaScript and DOM, DOM manipulation and so forth. Uh, I will go as far as to say that uh, you don't have to reach the same sort of mastery that some of the real gurus in JavaScript have about around the APIs, at least not now. It might be the case if we, if we go away from the frameworks and we go back towards web components or something like that. Uh, but I can promise you that you will learn things about the DOM. It's inevitable that you will learn things. It's just that when you start out, don't make the obscure knowledge that you feel like you're losing out on your primary focus, the 80-20 rule, guys. Don't focus 80% of your time on the thing that you're going to use 20% of the time. Reverse it. Get, go for the things that are going to be the most beneficial to you to start off with. Give yourself some time, learn these things, get good with them, and then when you, because I can promise you just by having that knowledge, that's going to be enough for you to get a job and do things in a professional capacity. And at some point, I promise you, these things will be as mundane, as boring as putting on your socks. And when you get to that point, you're going to have more than enough time and even a little bit of pre-knowledge to go in and learn the more basic fundamental things about vanilla JavaScript. You don't have to go about it this way guys, this is just a tip from me to you saying that you have time to learn it all and don't feel so scared about missing out on knowledge, just give yourself time to learn everything because you can't be a master of everything immediately. Have a great day.